I miss so much Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> lagi ada di dapur <laughs> hari ini aku di, di dapur sama Pato apa kabar? <laughs> nice ya jadi um, hari ini tuh kita mau makan pecel lele kayak panggang lele gitu um, Pato dari sebelumnya sebelum aku liburan dia udah insisting dia minta mau belajar gimana caranya bikin sambal jadi saat dia balik dari Indonesia tuh dia tuh in love banget sama sambal kita teman-teman nah jadi hari ini aku mau ngasih contoh cara bikin sambal ke Pato jadi sambal kita banyak banget tapi ini sambal terpopuler di Indonesia yaitu sambal terasi oke okay. um, oke okay, Pato you said you want to learn how to make sambal that was very very good over there and I was like really enjoying it uh -huh. I said whenever I go back to Vancouver I was mm -hmm. gonna ask Nancy just mm -hmm. to shut me out <laughs> <laughs> yeah sambal in Indonesia is actually we have tons of variety so each mm -hmm. places they have their own not even only each, each places each restaurant okay have their own kind of like a secret sambal but you have the base right you have the base so yeah. this is for example this is the base uh, what we're gonna make today it calls uh, sambal terasi this is the most popular sambal in Indonesia especially if you eat it with like grilled chicken or like fried chicken let's say if in, you are like in a street food and then you yes, have this one okay. exactly exactly okay. so for sambal is actually there's a certain way of preparing it raw sambal so everything is just prepared and it's raw okay and then from Bali for example they have it sambal mata is basically all the ingredients you just chop it smooth, uh, smoothly and then put some put oil them all and it. yeah exactly okay. mm. and what we make today is not like that it's a different one and beside that too there's a other way to prepare sambal you have the ingredients and then you put it in the chopper okay yeah it's either you put with water or you can put with oil and then when it's all blended together and then you fry it in the uh, pan okay. for the restaurant sambal that is quite famous is actually what people do is this style which is you fry this all first okay and when it looks good and then you mix it over here and then you just uh, grind it Salivating. <laughs> well, I really yeah. want to eat it right yeah. now. <laughs> one it's done and it's ready to be served. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So we're gonna try that one, uh, that style of sambal terasi. And what what terasi is, terasi come from here. It's a shrimp powder. Okay. Yeah, with the shrimp. But Indonesia had a different one, but it's pretty close to it. So we're gonna use this one. It gives like a very good flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, because you are not allergic to shrimp, so then I think it's good to to make it. And I don't think I ever make that one. So yeah, it's a good time for that. Cool. Got the ingredients. What we need is a tomato. Okay. And we have, of course, shallot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have garlic. And then this is, you know, what is this? No. This is a kamiri nut. Okay. Yeah. So it's. I've never seen this before. Yeah. We mostly using this just for cooking. And then this is a big uh, chili. It's not so spicy. And then there's one. This is the small Those one. Those are the spicy, spicy ones. One. Yeah. Just to give the flavor. Yeah. And then also we actually gonna put salt, pepper, and also palm sugar. The Javanese sugar. Okay. In there. Okay. Now it's time to fry the ingredients first. Let's okay. go. Let's bring it. Yeah. You said, you said there's no no there's no an order to go follow it, right? Uh, no, yeah, it just have to be properly fried. Okay. It smells yummy at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything that is already brownish, we can take them out. Okay. Kita tadi udah selesai gorengnya and this is the result voila. The next step is yeah. you're gonna ulek it. <laughs> you're gonna grind it. Okay. Yeah. I'll it's be the blender one. today. <laughs> yeah, you'll be the blender. <laughs> this is a very old school, the traditional way of Indonesian mixing it. How do you call this? Ulekan. Ulekan. So the way you're doing it is to call mangulek. Mangulek. Yeah, mangulek. Okay. The first thing you have to put there is the salt. A lot right now, so we want the flavor in there. Okay, that's good. And then let's put a little bit of this is the paste, the terasi paste. Okay. Maybe like that much. And we'll see, check the flavor later. And also the gula jawa. Gula jawa. Yes. I think it's just because you have to grind it, right? So when you put like the hardest one at the last, oh. <coughs> it takes forever. It goes to my throat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Guys, this is 
spicy. Yeah, careful not because it's gonna be very very spicy for on your skin. Hmm, have you done this before? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you did it quite good. Okay, not bad. That's it, teman-teman. This is the first time for Pata Mangulek. Today, I show you how we're doing it. I mean, you're doing it really, really good already. It's not like I'm a professional or something, which is I hate doing it too. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how you're doing it. Like, you smash it and then like with the balance side, like this, so it goes really faster. Yeah, like if you, yeah, if you get it, that's because it's grinding way better. Nice, I see you doing it right. Nice, teman-teman. Bato is I learn fast. Yes. <laughs> It smells so good already, guys. Oh right? Goodness. It does. It yeah. does. Oh my god, I love the onion smell. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have an Indonesian inside of me, huh? Uh, yes, <laughs> I feel like it. Yeah. You're such a natural. Maybe in my past life. <laughs> Might be. You did not such a good job, but though. You're helping me a little bit. Thank you. Together. All yours. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not easy. The first time when you're trying this, it's very tiring because I think your muscle is not really trained for doing this. So it's it's this part. Yes, exactly. I'm not also a big fan of this traditional style, but I love to eating from this. But, but the, the, the flavor, it gets different. Yes, yeah. yes. Exactly. That's why Indonesian love it like a traditional way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's just like a lot of work. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It looks beautiful, huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm drooling. So good. <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. It's ready to try. Just. See if it. What do you think? Everything it's good or not good? I feel like it's good. I tried a little bit before, so. Oh. Yum yum. <laughs> Good job. It's a success. Okay, let me try. Spicy, oh not the spice is so good, right? Oh my god, this is so good. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this part of it. This is so good. Yeah. Well <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh. Let me see if it's really good. It's spicy. Teamwork. What do you say? Good. Mm. Yeah, you like it? <laughs> good, right? Uh. <laughs> It's so good, right? It's good. Yeah. Okay, teman-teman, kita done and well done, Pato. Woo! Woo this is really good. Literally like a finger jalan flavor. It was easy, right? 10 of 10. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, now it's time to eat. So, uh, have a seat over there. I'm gonna okay. prepare the rest of the stuff and in that, you can put it in the middle. Hi, guys! Hi! So, teman-teman, sambalnya udah selesai. It's time to eat. Uh, just to explain a little bit, I call it pecelele. Pecilele, pecilele. Yes, this is actually the fish and then there's no hand on the fish, <laughs> they chop it off. This is a catfish and Indonesian love to eat the catfish, but I feel like catfish here is a bit different, but it's similar like a catfish. I don't know if you know catfish. Uh, it's a sweet water fish. It's okay. from the ocean. This is a street food style and this is a lot nice. in Java and it's coming from East Java. They call it pecilele. Pecilele. Yeah. Okay, I'm so salivating and it looks teman -teman, so good. Yeah, this is the sambal terasi. Uh, we made it today. Pato made it. Yeah, well yeah. done, Pato. And it's really good. I, I yeah. have to say it's really good. It is really good. <laughs> Let's start. I'm so hungry. I'm so starving. I really need to eat right now. And uh, we eat with the hands, right? We eat with the hands, of course. Right. Like a street food style. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very yeah. Indonesian. Exactly. And this is a fried bat one. Just a uh, add on. So yeah, nice. enjoy. Okay. Go ahead. Selamat makan. Selamat makan. Selamat makan. I'm hungry, hungry. Go ahead, Pato. You. Oh my god. Have the yes. Honor too. Yes. Thank you. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks very nice, and it tastes better. Mm-hmm. I'm just yeah. gonna put this some in the, the side. This is what Indonesia did. You love to do it like this. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh mm. my god, my dog. Mm. Look it looks so beautiful with the colors. Yeah, the colors and mm. how it's prepared. Oh my god. So good. Okay, okay. so good. <laughs> mm, the sweetness, I love the sweet <clears throat> sambal. Mm, my mm. goodness. I'm gonna have to calm down. Ooh, look at that. So, this one is just perfect. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I miss so much Indonesia. <laughs> oh. mm. 
Oh my god. Mmm. Okay, Nancy, calm down. <laughs> Is it so good? I know, right? Someone did a really good job on the sambal. Yes, someone really, really did a good job. I have a really good teacher. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. I think we're gonna finish this sambal. Yeah, I think it's really yeah. gone. Oh, mm. I love that with this like traditional sambal in the ulikan, you mm -hmm. still have like these little bits and pieces of like the chili yeah. and the onion. It's not perfectly blended, but it, yeah. that gives it a special flavor, exactly. right? And the the texture in the in the mouth is like everything. Yeah. And every yeah. bite is a little bit different because sometimes you get a little bit more of the chili or the onion yeah. or the garlic. Mm. True, yeah. I'm in paradise right now. <laughs> mm. Right? Can't talk right now. Have to. Can't eat. Exactly. <laughs> Do you feel home? Oh yeah, this is so good. Yeah. I think this is so far the, the best sambal I did. I mean, you did? <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> okay, we did. <laughs> I was like, don't you see my arm is just like still shaking because yeah. I was just like... <laughs> mm. Oh my god, we can sell this. This is literally delicious. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's the perfect spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? that's yeah. true. Because when you just eat it like that, it was spicy. Mm -hmm. But now with the whole together, it's not too spicy anymore. Exactly. And the lele, the skin is actually very cr like crunchy. Yeah, because... I was gonna say that. Yeah, mm. Indonesian style, normally they deep fried it, but I feel like, okay, this is a lot of... Mm -hmm, I want it a little bit healthier. Uh -huh. So what I did, I just uh, fried it a little bit mm -hmm. for four minutes. Uh, and then flip it and then I put it in the oven okay. and then let it cook uh, properly mm. in the oven so in that way we just a bit healthier mm. and sometimes they, yeah sometimes we have the grill style too charcoal mm -hmm. yeah. and with the charcoal thing it's like also giving a different a different flavor right oh, yeah um, oh my god mm, guys mm -hmm. mm. so good, so good. It's like you're gonna stop eating. <laughs> yeah. And it goes really well with the fish. Mm. With the lele. Yeah. Because and you know what? Like just eating with the hands, it just like give you the, yeah. the plus of it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's, that's the beauty of it. Yes. And yes, I'm sweating. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> but you also worked really hard for it. <laughs> Crunchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. mm. I'm, I feel like I'm only eating the rice with the sambal, <laughs> almost nothing else, because that is so good. Mm -hmm. For me, it's like, I feel like I have to slow down because I feel like I have to like that. <laughs> the lele also has a really good taste. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Nice, I remember last time you're not so big fan of it. Maybe because I deep fried it last time, huh? Maybe? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. This time it's just really not feeling so fatty and then so oily. And that's yes, why you can yeah. taste the, the meat. Yes. Mm, maybe that. Like being in Indonesia right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Alex will never try this samba. Because it's with the prawns. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. he, never, he will never know how good this samba is. It's actually a really good balance though with the uh, uh, tarasi. Mm -hmm. Saya tidak suka terlalu terasi, ya, kalau ada terlalu terasi, mm -hmm. sedikit aja sempurna untuk saya. Mm -hmm. so, ini, it, nah, sama ini enak. Enak. With the perfect balance with the terasi and the remaining uh, ingredients. Mm. Oh my god. Thank you so much for this. This mm. is so good. Mm, I'm happy you like it. Don't you see? I love it. Mm. I was thinking like to do with chicken, but I know like you are a seafood person, so mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I still have this catfish in my fridge. How about we there do we go. There we go. And I love this catfish. It's delicious. Mm. Delicious. Even the skin is just like perfect, right? Yeah. Mm. Crunchy. Again, the texture is like so nice. <laughs> Crunchy, but also a little bit fatty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, yeah, really good. I got a question from um, one of the subscribers. What is it with Western people? With the texture, we never really, as Indonesian, mm. we never really think about texture of the food. When we eat it, it's only the flavor, which stand on the flavor, not the texture. What For is me, it's the food? it's the eating experience. Mm -hmm. So when you eat something that is a lot, like something that is, it has to taste good, obviously. Mm -hmm. But then if something is like let's say crunchy on the outside, but like very soft or chewy on the inside or something like this, mm -hmm. then 
it's a really nice combination of the different yeah. texture. It's, it's like you, you like feel it. something crunchy, but mm. you feel something also chewy. Everything you like in one like something in one meal or so, for mm. example. So it's not only the the flavor itself. Takes it to the next yet. level. Oh, yes. okay, okay, makes sense. Yeah. If like, you eat like the krupuk and then nothing is crunchy, it's mm-hmm. missing something. So it mm. needs to be the crunchiness also need to be there. Yeah. Yeah, whenever you're talking about like something that has to be like in certain texture, let's mm-hmm. say uh, fried chicken. Yeah. Uh, but it was it was not very crunchy. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then it's like okay, so you are actually looking for the texture of it. Or if you're eating like rice and it's like with a little bit more water mm-hmm. then it it makes a Soft, little yeah. yeah it was good but you mm-hmm. know it was like really mushy yeah so yeah for me like texture is like very important mm. like even for this like we were talking like basti was saying about when do you have a little chunky on it because mm. it's not like really really grilled because mm-hmm. it's like handmade mm-hmm. It, it tastes different, mm-hmm. you know, like it, it has the texture in your mouth. It's just like, oh, it's melting in my mouth. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's all the, that texture. Yeah. yeah. Guys, yes. this is successfully... <laughs> it's gonna be very clean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, clean and gone. Clean. Yeah, it really brings me back to Indonesia. Mm. So good. Oh my God. Maybe we should just go again. Buy the tickets today. <laughs> you know what? I I think I really want to go back like really soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Where would be your next place to go in Indonesia? I think I really want to visit Komodo Island. I went to Nusa Penida. Oh yeah, you mm. see. But I really this time want to stay there. I also want to stay longer in Malang. You like Malang? I really really enjoy the uh, Yogyakarta, for example. Yeah, mm. I love Yogyakarta too. I'm more like that. Like I'm more like into the culture. Cultural than the city. Happy! Very happy. Sold out. Literally sold out. Sold out, guys. <laughs> Literally sold out, guys. Well, I said it a couple of times during the video. The samba was amazing, Pato. It was really, really good. I love this traditional style with like all these different chunks in, the, in there. The balance was really good between the spiciness and the flavor and mm. the terrassi and a really good mix. So good job. Mm-hmm. The Thank sambal. you. And the sambal is 10 out of 10. Oh. Easy. I didn't, don't even need to think. Perfect sambal for this kind of meal. And then the rest of the meal was also very good. Even though I'm not too much of a fish fan usually, mm-hmm. I prefer the meat, but this lele was really good. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed it. It was a really good combination and just the sambal was the highlight, the highlight of it. Yes. I just mixed it with everything and it was a really nice blend of everything. So yeah, I think in total I will give this meal, this is like a 10 out of 10. It's Yay. like so good. So good and brings me back to mm. Indonesia. Aww. Your first time making sambal, sambal terasi? Well, first of all, I enjoyed it. Mm. I enjoyed like even just like frying it, making it, like making it like smooth mm-hmm. and very like with texture again. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect combination. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, you're teacher. Welcome. Teacher, you're yeah. so good. Yeah. I'm a quick learner too. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. You are. And it's also good for the, yeah, for the muscles. Oh yeah, right? for the muscles. <laughs> yeah. But now I need to make another one. So yeah, I can yeah. <laughs> okay, come back tomorrow. Okay. okay. <laughs> As I said before, like all the flavors with the stone, it mm. just like bring it. I don't know if it's just like the little powder of it, like the dust that it's going Maybe. from the... Yes, yeah, yes. right. So it's just like blending all together. Yes, and yes. all the flavors just appear a little bit more accent to, to each one of them. If you have the same amount and exactly the same ingredients, mm-hmm. but if you put it in the blender... The blender yeah. It's not the it, same. Yeah, it, it, it tastes different. That's true. Yeah, even, even because you're blending it actually like very, very smooth and perfect, whatever. Mm. I think I love this one yes. a lot more. And it's actually true because Indonesian prefer always on here when they made it. Mm. Even like when it's a big restaurant, they mm. have a big one of that. So then mm. they can make it instead of you blender it. All together with the food, I am a fish guy, mm. of course. And I love this kind of fish. I've never tried this before. But I really love this one because the feather is not just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> it's only one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's only one piece and then you peel it out and yes, then you can eat you, it. You can eat it. Yeah. And the flavor was delicious. Mm-hmm. With the skin that it was really crunchy. Yes, yeah. yeah. So 
It was like kind of smooth in the middle and crunchy on the outside. Uh, so good. Like the rice, the, it was like so good. Yeah. I don't want to be like really <laughs> snobby. <laughs> snobby. But I will just give 11 over 10. Oh! <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, I'm, proud of, I'm proud of the combination of everything. Yeah. Mm. And my That's teacher. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So, I, aku harus kasih review juga karena ini sebenarnya hasil kerjasama uh, aku sama Pato. Jadi aku nyiapin kayak nasinya dan segala macamnya. Uh, goreng tahu dan segala macam dan goreng uh, untuk lelenya sendiri ini aku rekomendasi, uh, rekomendasiin banget buat teman-teman ya. Jadi jangan di deep fry pakai minyak oil gitu karena Uh, terlalu gimana ya kurang sehat kolesterolnya tinggi nah jadi yang kalau misalnya teman-teman punya oven di rumah lebih baik di oven jadi pertama itu teman-teman pakai pakai minyak dikit aja aku pakai olive oil jadi cuman dikit cuman digoreng uh, kulitnya jadi teman-teman harus keringin ikannya supaya nggak meletup meletup ya karena air ketemu sama minyak nah jadi keringin ikannya pakaikan sama apa sih namanya garam sama Um, jeruk nipis supaya belum di oven tinggal dilihat aja sih teman-teman kalau ovennya panas banget tinggal dilihat aja gitu jadi kalau udah kelihatannya bagus oke okay, berarti udah matang gitu dan untuk sambelnya voila that was really amazing karena uh, aku jujur aku baru kali ini bikin bukan aku ya maksudnya aku siapin bahan-bahan tapi pato yang ini yang yang eksekusi itu pertama kalinya banget bikin sambal terasi karena atau sudah pernah sebelumnya mungkin ya udah banyak banget videonya ya. tapi ini itu benar-benar rasanya luar biasa enak banget <laughs> manius manius, manius. Yeah. yeah so manius I give it a so like 10 out of 10 like it's so so good I feel like okay I have to repeat this <laughs> next time I have to do it again by myself and because it's so good so terima kasih teman-teman yang udah nonton di my channel dan uh, see you in the next video ya teman-teman dan jangan lupa untuk selalu subscribe subscribe like like yeah. subscribe and share, and share. And share. Yeah. <laughs> Oke, okay, terima kasih teman-teman. See you in the next video. Bye. 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 Bye.